Hey, and welcome back to Web Cafe AI, where we do daily chat GPT and AI videos that you can leverage for your personal and business life. Today, I have a pretty exciting video here. We're going to be looking at Zapier's new feature, which is interfaces, and we're going to learn how to use this feature in our business or personal life. Now, what I want to do in today's video is essentially I'm going to set up my account completely live on this video as I want to show you step by step how to do it. I'm going to add Google tracking to this. We're going to do the whole thing here. I plan on doing more tutorial videos on this new feature as we're going to be able to integrate a lot of AI here. It's really cool stuff just to give you a general idea of what this is. Think of it as a form builder, a web page builder. But what's cool is utilizing this form builder. We're able to access Zap automations automatically and that will make more sense as we go through but let's go ahead and create our first interface together so we're gonna create a new interface and as you see here we get a bunch of different types of preset interfaces so forms lead capture free offer new client intake uh, simple CRM get in touch and so on for today's video we're just gonna do a form and then I plan on doing a video after this, essentially showing me building out Web Cafe AI's new lead form, and you're gonna see it live. So make sure to stay till the end of the video as you'll get access to that right away. So let's go ahead and create this new interface. So this is what it looks like on the homepage when you get into your interface. You'll see your tables and your zaps. If you're not familiar with what tables are, I plan on making a tutorial for that as well. So make sure to stay tuned here at Web Cafe. But let's go ahead and build out my profile for this specific interface. And I plan on using this interface as it's going to essentially be my new lead form for Web Cafe. So I'm going to call it Web Cafe Lead Form. And then what I'm going to do, and this does cost money. So if you just have the free version of this you're not going to be able to change the domain and the subdomain you'll be able to still access interfaces you just won't be able to access certain features but for the purposes of this video i am going to create a subdomain as i do plan on using this as my new lead form all right so as you see here i went ahead and went with the custom domain of clients.webcafea.com what we're gonna to have to do now since we're setting this up as a subdomain we're just gonna follow the directions here so in order to do so go to whatever your domain provider is for me it's google and find your DNS. Once you're in your DNS, all you need to do essentially is say manage custom records. And we're gonna go ahead and create a new record here. I'm gonna put in clients and put in C name here. And then we're going to be pointing to what it has identified here, which is gonna be here. And then we're gonna go ahead and come back over here, paste that into there, and then we should be good to go. So we're gonna hit save here. And this may take a couple seconds, minutes, to save into the record. All right, so let's go ahead and jump through some other settings here. I'm gonna go ahead and change this interface to Web Cafe Lead. And then we're gonna go ahead and do leads. And then you can change the subdomain here. If you have a free version, this is where you would change the subdomain as well. Um, if you are using their URL. And then you're gonna be able to identify what is the uh, homepage. So that'll make more sense as we get going here. But for now, um, let me just make sure that this saves. So we're gonna do Web Cafe Leads. Web Cafe leads. I'm going to save these changes. And then just for reference, when it means homepage, essentially it's choosing uh, the pages that you have here. And obviously you can create more pages. So for example, if I were to put test here, I'd be able to create more pages and get more access to stuff I'd want to do, such as form, text, table, Kanban, chatbot, AI prompt, link cards, and so on. And we'll be able to interconnect all these. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that. Let's go back to settings real quick and let's go ahead and see access and users. All right. So as you see here, we can change who has access to it. So anyone with the link, anyone with the password or manage users only for theme, this is going to allow me to change what I want the preview to look like. You may not have the capabilities here because you need to pay for this part of the interface feature. So if you don't pay it, you'll get their default branding. It does look like they have an AI theme generator. Let's try this out. So we're going to say brand colors are and we do semicolon and then we're going to say uh modern and sleek theme i have no clue how this is going to work so let's go ahead and see what it comes up with okay so that's not even that bad i'm actually going to go with hmm let me see this one's pretty interesting to me i kind of like how that looks let's go ahead and apply that theme for now and we can go from there obviously you can see there is a bunch of different colors you can mess around with here but we're going to go ahead and use their ai theme generator to go for the direction of this form from here we can go to navigation um, essentially what this does is going to be whether the navigation of different pages uh, can be seen on the form so obviously test 
and then we can do uh, thank you. So let's go ahead and save the changes and see what that looks like on the front end. All right, so we are using the front end here and basically the navigation allows you to basically get access to this stuff right here. So you can see in certain context, you probably wouldn't want to activate this because for example, what we're doing here is we're setting up a lead form where we just want the individual to input information and then essentially just provide us with that information. We don't want them to really go around the navigation bars. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off and then include my logo in the navigation. Let's do that. And from here, we can come down to custom domain, which you already saw, and it works perfectly fine. And from here, we can keep going and let's go ahead and upload a logo. All right, so I went ahead and uploaded my logo here. We can change the height of the logo here, whether it's displayed or not, and then built in zap. I'm gonna go ahead and take that label off. As you can expect here, branding is another feature that is part of the paid plan, only $20 a month to get access to these types of features. All right, from there, you can simply add a tracking code if you need to do so. If you're not familiar of how to get a tracking code, it's as simple as going to Google and just creating a new property. We can jump into that into a later tutorial, but for now, that is also a possibility here. This would be great for the context of retargeting ads. So anyone that has interacted or found themselves on your landing page, now you can set it up where ads are retargeting them because they've showed some inclination of interest. So that gives you an overall lead or look at using ChatGPT interfaces. From here, what we can do is let's go ahead and go to share. And from share, we can set our homepage here and we can even embed it. So maybe you wanna use this code and embed it onto your website or a Google form or whatever you're using. And what I can do is go ahead and click this. And this gives me direct access to what it would look like to an individual who just found themselves on my link, which is gonna be clients at webcafeai.com. All right, I hope you found this video informational. Make sure to like, it's completely free and it helps us here at Web Cafe AI. My next tutorial for interfaces, I plan on building out an entire landing page for client leads. And one very important thing I plan on doing is integrating AI, a specifically an AI chatbot that knows everything about my business and that can answer questions before a user even inputs their email. This is gonna be really great and effective stuff. So I look forward to seeing you in that next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Web Cafe, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.